It's no secret that Corbin Burns has emerged as one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. He is absolutely filthy. In his last three seasons, Burns has thrown over 428 innings, all with an ERA of 2.62. He struck out 565 hitters in that span, has been averaging about 12 strikeouts per nine innings. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on with how elite he is. The Brewers have a really good arm on their hands. So, You'd expect them to treat him as well as they can, right? To tell him how awesome he is to pay him as much as they can, right? No, actually, the Brewers are doing the opposite of treating their best pitcher and player as well as they can. In fact, they are telling him he is the reason the team missed out on the playoffs last year. Corbin Burns, the man who pitched over 200 innings with a sub-3 ERA, making 33 starts which was the most in baseball while striking out 243 hitters, the most in the National League? Yeah, yeah, that guy is a big part of the reason the Brewers didn't win enough games last year. Is this a joke? No, unfortunately, it's not a joke, and here we are. The Brewers recently went to an arbitration hearing with Burns. For some context to those not familiar with what an arbitration hearing or with what an arbitration is, in baseball, it's basically when the team and the player decide how much said player will be making that season. After a certain amount of years playing, players become arbitration eligible, meaning they can start earning more money than they were previously. If the two sides don't come to an agreement, they go to court and settle it. Typically when a team goes to court with their player, it's not necessarily the greatest thing and something you want. The team basically has to go through reasons as to why their own player deserves less money. It's just an awkward and not a very fun situation to be in, especially when that player is your best like in this case with Corbin Burns and the Brewers. Burns won the Cy Young Award in 2021, had yet another fantastic season in 2022. The Brewers looked at that and decided Burns did not deserve an extra $750,000 because that's about how much the two sides were off from each other. Burns lost the hearing and he will be making a little over $10 million in 2023 rather than closer to $11 million. Obviously, first things first, Burns will be fine. We all know that. He's still making a ton of money. He's going to be able to eat and drink clean water. He'll be fine. Some may argue he's being snobby and ungrateful to the Brewers, but I think it's more so about the principle of what just happened. If you enjoy what you're watching and aren't subscribed yet, hit that button along with the bell for post notifications. Burns probably feels that the Brewers don't think as highly of him as they should, and when asked about the whole situation today by the media, he pretty much went off on his own team. He was very open about what happened. He's not happy. Watch. I think we saw from from the deadline day that we were gonna end up at a hearing, um, just with the, the lack of the attempts to, to, to get a deal done. Unfortunate that it ended up that way. Very eye-opening. Um, you learn your true value in the organization. Disappointing, but um, you know, you gotta get past it. And obviously the focus is playing baseball and going out and doing what I can for the teammates and for the fans. You kind of find out your true value. Um, you think you, you work hard for seven years in the organization and five years with the, with the big league team and um, you get in there and basically they, they value you much different than what you thought you'd, you'd contributed to the organization. Obviously it's tough to hear, it's tough to take, but you know they're trying to do what they can to win a hearing. But I think there was obviously other ways that they, they could have gone about it. Probably been a little more respectful with the, with the way they went about it, but um, you know, it, at the end of the day here we are. When it came down to, to winning or losing the hearing, it was, it was more than that for me. There's no denying that the relationship was definitely, definitely hurt from um, you know, what, what perspired over the last couple of weeks. You know, when some of the things that are said that, um, you know, for instance, basically, basically put me in the forefront of, of the reason why we didn't make the postseason last year. That, I mean, that's something that probably doesn't need to be said. You know, we can go, go about a hearing without having to do that. Um, so that's kind of one of those things that, you know, obviously, you know, they, there was no attacking of, of character, of, you know, person of who I was, but um, some of the stuff that was said that, you know, definitely didn't need to be um, said is, is, is something that, you know, I think kind of disappointed everyone. It's pretty obvious that Corbin Burns won't be a brewer for too much longer. Despite pitching his balls off over the last few years, the team is going to court over $750,000. That's it. The brewer's owner has a net worth of $700 million, yet doesn't want to pay his best player an extra $750,000. Burns has two years left with the brewers, becoming a free agent after the 2024 season. If you're the brewers, there's no better time to trade Burns than right now. His value is at its peak 
peak. He's incredible and has two seasons of control for whatever team acquires him. It's unfortunate for Brewer fans because, you know, you'd like to see your best players stay on your favorite team, but with Burns' relationship with the team being damaged, the team not wanting to pay him, and his value being so high for a potential trade, it's looking more and more likely that Corbin Burns' days with the Brewers are numbered. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.